Hello and welcome to West Covina's Traffic Committee meeting. This is our regular Traffic Committee meeting, which is held on the second Tuesday of every month at 3 p.m. Today is Tuesday, June 9th, 2020, and the, meeting, and the time right now is 3 p.m. We'll go ahead and start with introductions of who is present at this meeting and if they're a voting member or not, and then from there we will go over the agenda. Jana Robbins, Traffic Department voting member. Melissa Demirci, also with the Traffic Department, and I'm kind of chairing the meeting. Michael Ackerman, City Engineer, voting member. Sergeant Brian Daniels, West Covina Police Department, voting member. Corporal Hernandez, West Covina Police Department, Traffic Bureau. And with that, we'll go ahead and begin looking at the agenda that you see before you. Should. So looking at the agenda before you, we have a previous items recap, and that is as of today, all previous traffic committee items that have been approved by the traffic committee has gone to city council for approval um, to go ahead and install. And currently as we speak, all of the items are being worked on um, and gonna be installed within the next month or so. Um, the red curbs, signage, striping, and all the approved items previously. Um, from there, wanted to just mention that the April and May traffic committee meetings were canceled due to COVID and CDC guidelines, and we are now back to our regularly scheduled traffic committee meetings. As well, two major updates that we have is during this time, the city hosted two virtual community meetings. One was a workshop and one was a meeting, and the workshop was focused on the intersection of Cameron and Citrus, as well as the corridor of Cameron Avenue between Citrus and Hollenbach. And what that focused on was a potential safety and traffic improvements on the corridor and at the intersection. This community workshop was in two parts and it currently is still ongoing, which included a video presentation as well as two surveys to collect feedback from residents. All residents living within the area, which is approximately 1,400 addresses, did receive a mailed in notification of this meeting and it is accessible online. We've had pretty good participation so far. The second meeting, which is a virtual community meeting, was just an informational meeting, which was for La Puente Road and Forecastle, which is the proposed traffic signal installation. This was just a one-part meeting that ran between May 15th to May 29th. It's now closed. We again did a video presentation as well as collected community feedback via a survey. That concludes Item number two, which is the previous items recap. The next item on the agenda is new traffic committee items, and we have one item for review today and discussion, and also voting on to move forward with it. And what this is is, as part of uh, the 2011 Metro Call for Projects funding application, the County of Los Angeles Public Works Department was awarded a grant for traffic signal synchronization project, specifically along Badillo Street is what it included. And um, the purpose of the project is to synchronize traffic signals along the corridor between Santa Anita Avenue and the 57 Freeway. And there are three intersections within West Covina, which is Badillo and Vincent, Badillo and Lark Ellen, and Badillo and Azusa. This topic right now that we're gonna be discussing for the new traffic committee item is for Lark Ellen and the DO. And what it is is it's a report that justifies protected left turn phasing, which is going to be one of the potential projects that the county is going to be leading for the city. We wanted to make sure that we did the appropriate engineering justification that it meets the CA MUTCD and CVCD, CVC warrants. We did an accident investigation. We collected traffic counts as well as turning movement counts and pedestrian counts 
um, and we did a warrant study, and we did find that it does meet justification and warrants for the installation of a traffic signal, I mean, of a um, left turn phasing, which is also going to really help in reducing left turn accident conflicts and improve overall safety at the intersection. And we are recommending to install this protected left turn phasing and essentially let the county know that that is what the city wants as part of that overall synchronization project. Um, and in addition of pedestrian countdown signal heads to also improve pedestrian safety at the intersection. It currently is a traffic signalized um, intersection. And with that, I guess the recommendation is to approve this report and, and the funding of the county's um, project. And with this, this will go to city council for final approval to let the county know that um, they can begin the project. Do I have any questions or any comments from committee members? And you said this is uh, county funded? It's county funded because of the um, application. Now, county is in the process right now of going through all the signal or the intersections along the Badillo corridor and making recommendations to each city on what improvements they need to make. This has included like um, upgrade their controller boxes, signal heads, pedestrian countdown, um, maybe go to um, video detection, that type of thing. Now, when we talked to them, they said that, and we talked also to the city of Covina, because uh, Bedillo and Lark Ellen is shared between Covina and West Covina. So, once the county has come up with all the recommendations, then they'll come back to the city and say, which ones do you want to do? But in order to, for the county to even consider left turn phasing at these intersections, or the one we've chosen, we need to have a engineering study backing up that it, it is warranted. So in that case, then at that point, when the county comes back, they'll give us prices and costs for these things. And depending on how West Covina is situated, whether they want to go forward with um, all these improvements, but it's as a fair share basis like most funding grants are. So the city would would go in with the city of Covina and they would have a fair share of what they've chosen for each of these intersections. And that also includes the synchronization project. But this report is only the justification for them to consider left term phasing. So it's a good opportunity because if it's part of the grant, then the city would only have to pay for their fair share instead of the whole cost of it. So when that comes in, that's another situation that council will have to ultimately decide. Thank you for the explanation. Yes. Is there any other comments from traffic committee members? And for the record, there are no audience members present currently. So with that, um, the motion will be to approve and accept the project, as well as um, accept the traffic Ward study that was conducted for Lark Allen and Medeo Street. And do I have a motion? I'll make a motion. And a second? I'll second. Um, and with that, all in favor? Aye. 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 So this was unanimously approved and will be presented to City Council as well for the final approval. Right. After we get, it'll go to Council after we get the results from the county. So it, it's a process, but. This way we know that it's in our back burner, so if the, um, depending on what the, uh, the timing is on the county getting all their uh, ducks in a row for their, <laughs> for their funding application, then, you know, council can decide if that's something they want to pursue. Um, going on to item four, which is audience comments on item on the agenda. Again, there are no audience members present. Item number five is committee member comments on items on the agenda. Is there anything that any of the committee members want to bring up? No. All right. And with that, the meeting is adjourned. Thank you very much for um, City of West Covina's traffic meeting.